Happy Easter. Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy Easter. It's time for Olivia's 11th month update. Been a long time since we recorded from here. Normally we're, we're right in the, the vehicle going right. somewhere, but nope, we're at home today to celebrate Olivia's first birthday. <laughs> so behold, we bringeth you the beginnings of a top tooth. Finally breaking Ooh, through. Like a little rice. Yeah. What is it? Grain of rice. Yeah, uncooked. Yep. Uncooked right, grain right. of rice. Definitely not a cooked grain, but, <laughs> no. but we're getting there. It's quality tea. Yeah. You know, it takes yeah. its time. <laughs> uh, so some of the other things that she's doing now, um, she does do assisted walking. So if you hold her hands, she will walk if when she, she wants, wants to. to. Uh, most of the time you'll see, and uh, I'll bring it up in a, in a moment, but most of the time you'll see in some of the videos when you're trying to walk, she's got her feet up in the air like, nope, 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 nope. The floor is lava, will not touch it, it will not be me. Feet and hands up in the air like yep. this. <laughs> like, nope, I either sit or I be carried or I'll crawl, I'm not walking. Uh, but with that, we did get her a walking toy, kind of looks like the uh, triangular shopping Like a shopping hearts. cart. So the funny thing is she pushed for the first time and we didn't realize there's like brakes in them to control the speed of the tires or wheels or whatever so she just went like this yeah <laughs> fell uh, on her face. there's two speeds on there so if you put it at the the slower <laughs> speed it kind of has some friction on the wheels <laughs> and uh, at first it was not set at that speed and she went to <laughs> flying um, I have seen her take a couple steps with it but uh, again she just prefers crawling at this point in time not too yeah. uh, excited to, to walk around yet uh, she is like carrying on conversations now uh, when she's babbling. Um, it looks like she's babbling with a purpose or like trying to talk or communicate to you while she's doing it. Like singing. Yeah. She kind of copies the, not the, kind of like the tune. Like some, some Sesame Street songs would go, oh, oh, oh. Or she'd be like, oh, oh. So like, like it's, it's so cute. She just did it today, I think, that I, that I remember. Right. But yeah, it's, it's more... Not just like a da 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 da. You'll just you'll hear a lot of different pitch and tone changes a lot of and now too. yeah, like, a lot Gado, of syllables. Go cow, gaga, ka. Yeah. So. And you always know because those two are yelling at each other always, that yeah, way. Yeah, it's her thing. Uh, she is a huge fan of Peekaboo, but her being the instigator versus you playing Peekaboo with you. Mm -hmm. She wants to play Peekaboo with you instead. A lot of times she'll be in her play area and she'll squat down and then pop her head up. Yep. And then, uh, like we mentioned before, there's a little cloud cutout. So she'll she'll peek up peekaboo up here and then she'll slowly move go down and, and then go down through the uh, little holes. Through the holes. Uh, on that note, another thing that she does, if she wants your attention and you're holding her yes, and uh, you're talking to somebody else, she will fold herself and... Ah! <laughs> That, that, that just happened live, folks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyways, um, I don't beat my wife, but what my daughter does <laughs> is, uh, and I will, I will demonstrate. <laughs> so, when you're talking and she wants your attention, she'll. I'll do it this she, way. She will wrap herself around and stick her. Her face in front of your like, face. Hey, look like, at me. Yeah, hello, me. it's me. <laughs> so another interesting noise that she started making is she now does this like low growling noise. She's like, <laughs> and she gets a kick out of doing it. So it's she it, kind of hisses like the cat. She's yeah, like, it was like that. It was really weird. Um, so she she now understands the word no. Um, if we're telling her no, don't do something, she understands mm -hmm. it. Most of the time, she'll look at you and smile while you're saying it, but she understands it. And the way we know that she understands it is because before she's getting ready to do, do something, something wrong, bad. she she goes. You're looking. She looks at you and smiles, and then does it. <laughs> and then um, when was it? Because she kept tug tugging at the carpet. She's crawling around all over the carpet, and she's tugging at something she's not supposed to. So Raphael was telling her no, and then she would stop, and then she'd do it again. So I come into the room and I'm like this to her, no, went like that. And she just made a pouty face, like, and then she started crying and crawling towards dad. It was funny. Oh, My heart broke that oh, Already trying to, to, to mom. Uh, one thing that we noticed, um, mainly uh, when they went to go pick up Olivia at daycare, um, her Lola or her Grandma. grandmother picked up a different baby and Olivia saw it she and lost it. lost it. So she's, she's showing 
trends of jealousy or signs of jealousy now uh, for for another advancement in normal. Uh, but she's also very affectionate. She now hug uh, now hugs tries a lot more. Tries <laughs> to kiss. Uh, she'll blow kisses because uh, every day I usually make the 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 vision of her blowing kisses to her caretaker. So she'll. <laughs> so, uh, so, so now she'll, she'll blow kisses. Uh, for eating, we did finally, or I did finally, uh, attempt to make, uh, some kind of meat or poultry in her food. So this last time we made, uh, chicken, chicken spinach. rice, spinach, carrots, and sweet, sweet potato. potato and mix it all together. She seems to like it just fine. Um, well, she likes everything. What yeah. doesn't she like? We don't, we still don't know. What doesn't she like? Um, oh. Maria said she does not like papaya and guava mixed. Okay, just separate. She likes them each separate, but mm -hmm. if you mix them, like making juice that way, she mm -hmm. doesn't like it. Oh, wow. So she doesn't like that combination, but she likes them so separate. So picky. <laughs> right. Not because it's the right thing to do, but it's the cheap thing to do if you're not making your own baby food. I highly recommend it. You know, I, what do we pay for those Gerber packs? Like a dollar sixty for two. Yeah, so a dollar sixty for two servings. When you buy one sweet potato for like sixty cents, it makes six servings. So, and literally, I just cut it up, boil Wait. it for twenty minutes, toss it in the blender, and then that's Great. it. It's good to go. Definitely much more cost effective. Speaking that of way. eating too, she's had a lot of um, new Filipino foods. Right, like oxtail with peanut sauce, we call it kare kare. She's had that. We have nila gambaka, which is like a beef dish with um, gingery broth too. What else did she have? She's had longanisa, which is our sausage. She's had, he's part Puerto Rican, but she's had arroz con gandules, which is rice and beans. Um, she's had steak too. Yep. Yep, so. we just... <laughs> Cut it into super small pieces, uh, so she she will chew on regular food now, um, even though she's only got two, two and a quarter, <laughs> two and a tenth of a tooth. Yeah. Um, but they say like, if you were to think of a child's airway the size of a straw, um, that's it, it's about the equivalent of that. So I just make sure it's small enough so that it would pass through a straw, and then uh, y'all know my paranoia about the baby choking yeah. so um so she wants to eat so much more and she wants bigger pieces and i keep telling her you want bigger pieces get more teeth so that's she our still agreement hasn't come to that nope <laughs> <laughs> she's like uh you'll just go blend it for me anyways right. so uh so another thing that she starts doing now is she will lay herself down like we said she crawls around in the living room now we kind of cordon everything off so that way the pets are out of the way get everything vacuumed and cleaned up uh, and she'll lay down and watch TV um, at times. A teenager. So um, it used to be if you put her down, there was like a spring popping her back up. But she will she'll lay down uh, on her back and watch TV now. So her exciting new things is uh, we started her in gymnastics mm. uh, last weekend. Uh, so she goes every Sunday. Obviously not today since it's Easter, um, but it's it's 45 minutes long. Uh, really, she spends most of the time just crawling around there, um, but they teach them counting and, and, and little skills. Little interaction, I guess. So her, her age group is from, uh, I think it's three months to 18, 18 months. So most of the other kids are, are much older there and, you know, walking around and doing that kind of stuff. Um, Oddly but, enough, she's the biggest and thickest yeah, one. Yeah. So not the tallest, but she's definitely the thickest. Um, but, but it's a good time for her to go out and see other kids and, um, you know, she was racked out afterwards. So, you know, <laughs> she's definitely getting some kind of workout out of it. So, uh, she but like the pulled up, pulling up. Yep. Yep. So, uh, for one of the skills, um, they had the kids holding on the bar and you take their feet and touch it to the bar. Um, obviously she cannot grasp and hold herself on the bar yet. So for them, they said, just kind of stick them put their face behind the bar and pay, play peekaboo peek with the bar. Um, and she grabbed a hold of that and she, she had some good strength because I had a fighter at times to, to play the peekaboo. But um, but yeah, she was she had a good time there, I think. Yeah, I think she, it's, I don't know, I'm just trying to uh, think about like what her personality is. And I think she didn't really care for the other babies. <laughs> <laughs> She's a mini me. <laughs> 
But that is definitely, uh, since she was crawling around and there's, you know, the b bunch of foam obstacles and stuff there that train on, I really got her into starting to climb over things inside the house or trying to climb up on things too. Like so walk sideways. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with that walking, she'll, uh, she'll hold on to things and, you know, pace along the side of it while, while holding on. She did a little running too. Yeah. You guys were walking yeah. fast. Yeah. Yep. Pretty cute. And, and and I'll throw some video in there so you, so everybody sees it. <laughs> Before we talked about her putting the rings on the on the toy uh, yeah. when you're there, she'll now do that on her own um, without us pushing her to do it. I'll, I'll catch her in there playing and, and stacking them up and then taking them off. So uh, she's definitely got the, the concept of that. And we'll offer her binky to you uh, while while she's or laying like, down. Wipe she'll... it all over your face. <laughs> yeah, her her offer is here. Let me paint your face with all my saliva. Uh, and actually, we were just taking pictures with Easter, Easter eggs, eggs, the plastic Easter eggs. Um, and same thing, she was offering it to, to mom after she got done eating it. Um, and then uh, we'll put video in there. She, she did an Easter egg hunt today, did very well at mm -hmm. that. Uh, laid out 12 eggs. Uh, there was one that was a little bit more difficult for her to find, but... Then again, her mother and grandmother couldn't find it either, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. She's also started the, um, I don't even know what to call it, like she whines now for something that she wants. For example, like we take away a toy from her because it's bedtime. She's like, yeah, or like those Easter eggs. She probably had like three and, you know, she couldn't hold them all. So we'll take one and she's like, oh, look, like, it's mine. Or like you have food and she's like, oh. I don't know. Yeah, and it's it's not like a straight out like cry or anything. It's, it's just just a little like, hey, no. <laughs> it's mine. Hello. I worked so hard for it. Right. Uh, the other thing that we started last night was um, trying to get her to self soothe herself. Um, she still wakes up. Somebody's still in the room with her. But not next at to her. Night. Not in the same bed. She's in a crib. And the other person's in a bed right now it's her, her grandma that does it well last night we started working on uh, getting her to soothe herself to sleep um so laid her down gave her a, well fed her a bottle laid her down um after probably about an hour she had woken up uh so i went in there laid her down gave her a pacifier walked outside of the room set a timer for three minutes uh you know screaming the whole time laid her back down uh three minutes again uh, and did that uh, three or four oh, times. times, and then uh... it's funny because I was watching over the monitor, like I was watching how she is coping, and she was looking for her pacifier first. But you know, the room is pretty dark; it only has like a nightlight on, and she felt her Elmo a little blanky, which has been there for her since she was born, right? Basically, she grabs the Elmo and just puts it on her face, and she was still sitting, and she was just doing this. And like I would see her heartbeat like calm down because it went from like 160 to 130 and then she put herself to sleep all right well that's all we got thanks for watching uh hope you guys enjoyed the update uh just leave any questions down below and we'll get to them all right have a good one we'll see you at the one year mark next happy Easter today happy